everybody. In this video, we're going to fix a problem that happens to many people. Not everybody has these nice big studios with incredible backdrops and not many people can go outside to film outdoors. So in this video, we will make a backdrop that looks like this become something like this. So open Premiere Pro and let's do it. Intro. Okay, we are in Premiere Pro, and uh, what I'm going to do is we're going we selected this video. I did it in purpose because I'm not even using a backdrop. I'm using just a wall with a nice color. And you can see here the fridge, a plastic back there, this light here, and something white here. I don't know what is it. So the the, the thing is that you have so many things that are destructive, and what we want to do is to extend our background. Okay. So what we're going to do, first thing to do is we're going to copy this video twice. What we do, we select the video, we press Alt and holding Alt, we're going to go up. There you go. We have it already twice. One more time. We're going to hold, a, select the video, hold Alt and pull it all the way up. There you go. We have three videos that are exactly the same. We're going to work with each of them. We're going to click here. You see there is the eyes, the, the toggle track output. It means that if you select this, you're not going to be able to watch or look at these videos. We want to work with the top one and that's it. So I'm just selecting it. I'm not blocking, erasing anything is there. It's just blocking the view. I'm just going to work with the top one. So we select the top one. As soon as you select the top one, you're going to be able to see the effect controls here. Now we're going to opacity and we're going to create with the pen a mask around me, okay? We go here, we go here, we go here, and there you go. We have a mask. We can go a little bit here to center it. Now we pull this out because I want it to be out of the screen. I want it to be the whole screen, so it's better for you to take the mask a little bit out so you don't have black spots around and everything, okay? And this is it. This is the only thing we're going to do with the top video. Okay, now this mask is going to be very harsh in the changes that we're going to do in the in the sites. So let's make a mask feather to 100% and we're sure that it's not going to be noticeable. Okay, now let's go to the second video. So remember what to do. You block the, the view of the first one and you unblock the view of the middle one. So now what we're looking here is the middle video. As you can see, there's no mask. It's the middle video. Okay, what we're going to do is to create a mask also here. We're going to create a mask and we're going to go with the pen here, here. Okay, we're going to put the next point here, a little bit here. You don't want it to move well. Okay, now here is too close to the other point. If I put the point here, it's going to be too close. So if I do it, look what happened. The mask moves because it's too close to the other point. So what I normally do is I come a little bit farther here and then I just close it. And then I can pull this point with no problem here to, to make the mask. And so that's okay, it's not a big deal. Now remember, I always want to go out of the screen, a little bit here also out of the screen, and also on the top, out of the screen. I just wanna be sure that there's no black spots or anything on the, on the corners, okay? Okay, now this is the second mask that we're doing in the middle video. But what are we gonna do with this mask? We are going to come here to the effect control. We're going to anchor point, we select it. So we can see that there is an anchor point here and you can see the middle. What we want to do is to move this yellow thing, this yellow background, this mask, all the way to the middle until this line, the front line touches the middle, uh, exactly the middle, okay? So we go to anchor point here in effect controls. We go to, this is, it says here, the position of the anchor point is 1920 and 1080. We're going to move it. So we're going to move the yellow part. Let's see how it works. We move it, move it, move it all the way until it reaches the middle. And we're getting close, a little bit more, a little bit more, and there you go. As you can see, we just, this line just touches the middle line, okay? What we just did, we just moved it down, we just moved the anchor point. We see the different number. Remember, we started with 1920, now it's 970. What we're going to do is we're gonna copy this number. We're going to go here on the top where it says position, and we're going to paste it here, replace the 1920. And we're going to make this image move again, move back, okay? Look at this. There you go, it moves back. 
to where it was, moving the anchor point. Now what we're going to do is uniform scale here in the effects. We're going to unclick it. There you go. It's unselected. And it says scale width 200%. We're going to make it bigger. There you go. We are extending. We're stretching this little line that we had there. Okay. There you go. We're stretching, stretching, stretching. Until we reach the point. There you go. That's it. Now we're going to confirm that everything is okay. We're going to unselect here the eye of the top one to see how it goes, how it's how it's looking. As you can see, it's looking nice, but there is a mistake here. There's something here. So what can we do here? Let's go to the mask here on the top. The first one that we did, you see the mask there. And then actually we can move it a little bit, you see? Until, if you move it more, you can see the door. So we can move it until there. Okay, it's getting better. Now we're going to the second one. We're working with this side, with the left side, okay? Now in the second one, we're gonna check the mask also. As you can see, the mask moved because we move it all over. So we can actually come here and move a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, there you go. And just to make it nicer here, also we can put a little feather, like maybe 40% of feather, and that's gonna make it a little better. Let's make it 20 of feather, okay? There you go. Now we can see that it's getting better. There's little tweaks and little things that we're going to fix, so don't worry. We'll fix it at the end. Now let's go to the right side. Let's click here in the eye. You remember the first one and the second one. We're going to uh, click it so we cannot watch these videos. We're going to start working with the last video, this video over here. Great. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a mask. Now it's going to be here. This side is a little bit thicker than the other, so I guess the mask is gonna be better, but we're gonna fix everything, don't worry. There you go. Now we're going to do the same thing, anchor point, and we're gonna move the thing, the line in the middle, exactly the same as the other side. And there you go, we did it. Okay, now exactly the same, we're gonna copy this number and we're gonna paste it on the top where it says position. I'm gonna click enter and we went back here. Now the uniform scale, again, we're going to unselect it and we're gonna stretch all this image, okay? A little bit more, a little bit more, and I think that's it. Just in case, just in case, let's put a 20 as a feather, okay? And now let's see how it is. There you go. We extend the background. That's good. We extended it. But still there's some little tweaks that we want to do, like color correction, and we just want to correct the back. So what are we going to do? The first thing to do is to nest this. Every time you do a lot of work in different videos, you can nest them. So it's going to be easier for you to work and don't have these, these huge and huge towers that for me is so funny when I watch tutorials and I see a lot of YouTubers teaching how to do something and they have like towers and towers and towers of, of things here in the timeline. It looks ridiculous. If you're organized, it's not going to look like that. So that's just a show off, show off. I don't like that. Okay, let's nest this. And there you go. You see, all the things that we did is just here. So that doesn't look like a big tower, isn't it? Let's put this video in the middle. I want to do something to correct all the things around, okay? We're going to go here on the bottom where it says new item, and we're going to create a color mat, okay? Uh, by default, it's gonna tell you exactly the measures of your video, so it's okay, just click okay. Now you have to choose the color, but for me, is we're gonna choose the color selector. We're gonna go around these colors to choose the color that we want. As you can see, this is very dark, darker than this side, no, it's dark. Here is clearer than this side, it's very clear, but here it's like in the middle. Let's choose this color that is in between so we don't complicate ourselves, okay? There you go. Then you click OK. And let's put a name. Color made, because maybe you're working with a lot of footages, a lot of things. So let's make a name. Color made, uh, background, and yellow. OK? Jesus, I'm writing like Yoda. Huh? <laughs> yellow background would be better. OK. It's done. OK, what we're going to do is to put this that we just did, the, the matte color, on the bottom, we're going to select it and click Alt and pull it up so we're copying it. Let's extend this, uh, let's make this bigger so we can see what, I, what we're doing. 
Let's extend this all the way to the end and let's extend this all the way to the end, okay? Always remember to extend this to the end because many times I forgot to do it and I corrected everything. Everything was so nice, but then I even export the video. <laughs> and then when you check the video in the middle, boom, it changes. Always extend. This is the first thing to do. Like you don't forget about it, okay? Then uh, we're going to select here the eye. So the top uh, matte color is covering our footage. So let's just select the eye. You know that when you select the eye, you cannot see it, but it's still there. It's still working there. So we're going to still work there. Let's select the video, okay? We're going to work with the video now. We have these two matte colors around, but we're going to work with the video. Here in this side, you have effects. In effects, we're going to look for, you just put truck and you're going to find here the truck matte key. And you're going to drag it all the way to the video. And that's it. It's there. So now if you go in effect control, you're going to find track made key. What we're going to do is another masks. It looks like today is the day of the masks. We're going to come like this, like this, like this, maybe uh, like this. Opale, I went wrong. There you go. Here, here, maybe here. Don't worry if it's not perfect. We're going to pull this a little bit down. Remember, I want everything to be as perfect as possible. I mean, I know it's not going to be perfect, but let's, you have to always try your best, no? There you go. So we just mask uh, uh, myself. I just mask myself. And uh, what we do is we come here. I'm gonna put it down so we can see properly the track mat uh, key here, that this is basically the effect we just did. Here you have inverted, and let's do that. Let's click inverted. Here also you have reverse. Let's select this reverse. And here where it says matte none, we're going to put the video three. That is this video that we selected. So this is the video, the, the matte color that we're using, video three. Here it is, video three. And as you can see now, the color in the back is really cool. It's really nice. You know, it's very clear, very nice. But still, if I take them, the, the, the points here, if I go out so you can see, it's very clear that we mask here something <laughs> that's not correct. What we're going to do is we go back to the mask of the track mat uh, key that we did, feather. Let's make a feather of 100%. Now, as you can see, it's getting better, but still you can see the colors here, the differences, you can see, still you can see. So there is a way to fix it. Expansion. I always go to minus, so it gets closer to me. Let's go to minus like seven. I'm gonna select the mask so you can see what I'm doing. If I go all the way to minus minus, you see it's already covering my face and the colors are coming. So no, let's go to maybe, there you go, minus 15, I think it's okay. And now to fix this change of colors, because it's very, very harsh, Let's change the opacity of the video three, that is basically this color. Let's put the opacity to like 50% to see what happened. I think it's gonna be less, but let's see what happened with 50%. It's getting better, but still you can see the, the, the aura that I have. So let's go to 40%. I think it's much better. Still, there's some touches that we can fix, but I think it's much better. I'm going to make the video big so we can see how is it. I think it's perfect. I like it. I think it's perfect. Now we can see that the video is very good. Hello, everybody. This is Mario, blah, 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 yada, yada. I can see here a little bit of yellow in my hair. Other way to fix it is to go to the mask and just take this here out of my face. There you go. That's it. We did it. We extend the background. We fix a little bit the color in the back. There's still some the little things that you can do because you can do color correction. I didn't do it you could to correct uh, the color of my skin, the color of my clothes, correct everything, no, all the video. And then of course, when you are recording, you also put your titles and your things. I think this is pretty cool that you can do in everything in your house. You know, you just need the proper lighting and that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more content like this. If you have a comment or you want me to do a tutorial, a special tutorial for you, just let me know in the comment section and uh, I'll do it as fast as I can. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Remember that it's free. Until next week.